All right, so um, yeah, let's let's dig deeper into this pattern. And I'm gonna actually create a new pattern. I think that'll be more helpful in getting you to understand what's happening. Okay, um, so let me, so we're gonna look at SIFT and it's list zero. So let's pull that down here, get that out of the way. And let's actually create a new pattern. This is going to be, I'm going to start off with 0, 0, 1, 1, right? That's the same one that we had before. So now it's just, it's visible, and you're going to see it actually change as I change these numbers, okay? Um, <clears throat> 0, see, see how right here it says 0, 1, 2, 3 on the side? Those, right here, 0, 1, 2, 3. Those are the indices. So the 0, 0, 1, 1, they're not index values. Those are operators on the index value that corresponds to the list that you see above. So when I pull this up, right, like that, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, right? Basically, it's saying these two surfaces go to list 0. These two surfaces go to list 1. And then it just repeats that information again and again and again. Is that clear? More clear? No? Yeah? All right, well, let's change it. So what you're seeing there is 0 and 1 are in list 0, and that's those, 0, 1. And then um, 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are in list 1, so they got turned off. That's that list right there. Um, and it just it cycles through, but if I change this pattern... Let's make it um, 0 and 1. Changes it to basically a, a, um, a cadence of, you know, A, B, A, B, on, off, on, off, okay? Um, likewise, I can um, say 1, 1, 1, and so now it's just going to say, you know, I think you guys are starting to get it now, and I'm really beating a dead horse, okay? So... So let's now start to uh, think about this as, as being able to identify more dynamic information, right? When the information gets flattened, this pattern gets much more interesting. That would be this right here. And you flatten that. I need to reduce that so you can see them. So now there are a lot more of those surfaces that are being read in one pattern. And, and this value right here is creating something that's, I guess, a little bit more interesting. And just like the circle pattern that we worked with before, if I change this, the pattern changes as well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let me go to, I'm going to stick with uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 for a while. Um, Yeah, let's do it like that. So you can see which surfaces are which ones. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the reason I'm showing you this is because now you have surfaces that make up an entire panelization system and um, you can select them separately. If you did something like cull pattern, it basically gets rid of one side of this this. Um, operation and then all you have is what's left. So this is the smarter way of doing this. Um, the coolest thing I think about using this method is you can do it as much as you want. You can break it down to as many groups as you choose. Um, and so basically that just looks like this. If I zoom in on SIFT, you'll see these really cool little buttons um, of pluses and minuses. You can add output values here. It just adds another option for you to, to um, sift the list. So I can say two or even three possible outputs um, here. And that also changes the ability for me to create a more dynamic pattern down here. So um, let's do zero, one, three, two. So now it's saying 0, 4, and 1, and 5. And uh, let me go copy this down, and I'll take number 2. 
I know I'm going to lose you with some of this, but I just want you to be able to see that you can just add the information into separate groups. You don't have to do this quite yet. Green three. There you go. So now we've got group one, group two, group three, and group four. Okay. Make that look a little clearer for you there. Um, so I know that this is pretty taxing on the mind. Um, I, I don't want you to be intimidated by it. I just want you to understand that that you know the the way that we're structuring this information is really important because you won't really be able to isolate it properly any other way. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, here we go. I'm going to stop this video here and then go into something else real quick before I give you a quick break.